I am directing the State Department to begin preparation to move the American Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Two years ago today, on May 14, 2018, at 4 p.m., 70 years to the date and the hour that David Ben-Gurion declared Israel's independence, the United States moved its embassy to Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, Israel's holy capital city. That day will always remain with me as one of the greatest days of my life, a day on which President Trump kept a promise to the Jewish people and to many tens of millions of Americans who support the state of Israel. It was a day on which America yet again led the world in standing for freedom, for peace, and for the undeniable truth of Jerusalem's ancient connection and modern centrality to the people of Israel as their eternal capital. While presidents before him have backed down from their pledge to move the American embassy once in office, this president delivered. Because when President Trump makes a promise, he keeps it. Today, the embassy of the most powerful nation on earth, our greatest ally, the United States of America, today, its embassy opened here. Isaiah the prophet gave us an order or a good advice. Dabru al lev Yerushalayim. Speak on the heart of Jerusalem. Jerusalem has a heart? Jerusalem is a city made of streets, of buildings, of stones, of trees. Where is the heart of Jerusalem? My interpretation is Dabru al speak on, speak about Lev Yerushalayim, that the heart of the Jewish people is Yerushalayim. Let the word go forth from Jerusalem today that Israel lives. Shout it from the housetops that Israel lives. As I prayed this prayer, the audience stood and with one voice were shouting in unity, Israel lives. It was a spiritual pinnacle I shall forever cherish. I fought four wars and hundreds of dangerous missions behind enemy line to defend the state of Israel. I was the first Israeli soldier to land in Entebbe to rescue 105 Israeli hostages. Fighting battles always raise the question, who is fighting with you? Who is your friend? The United States brave decision to move the embassy. It's about strong partnership commitment of the United States for Israel. It's a demonstration who is the best friend of Israel, who is the most important ally of Israel. Many years ago, I was a political prisoner in the Soviet Union for my Zionist and human rights activity. When I was brought to the trial, accused of high terrorism, and the judge told me, what is my last word which I want to say to my people and my wife I say next year in Jerusalem. This day of opening of American embassy in Jerusalem was for me a real triumph. Not only was I moved by being present at that moment of the opening of the United States Embassy, but I must share with you, it was the bus ride. Jews and non-Jews alike, Democrats and Republican, old and young, there was nothing that divided. We were united. We sang the words of the prophets as the bus climbed the mountain and took us up to this United States Embassy. As the bus ascended the mountain, there were citizens of Israel standing on both sides of the street, clapping and applauding, and you couldn't help but feel that we were on our way towards a historic moment and a historic milestone. I look at the move of the U.S. Embassy to the hills overlooking Jerusalem, a clear signal to the American people, to the Israeli people, and to the world that the United States is determined and committed for peace in the Middle East. They took us to Auschwitz. We lost everything that day. We thought that the world went crazy, but we survived. 
We never thought that there'll come a day when we see the America to put in an embassy in Jerusalem. Seeing this gives us hope. I was brutally attacked and harassed for the simple fact that I was a Jew. With the embassy moving to Jerusalem, it has given me so much pride and confidence in my Judaism to stand strong against anti-Semitism. An Israeli singer referring to the Western Wall famously sang that there are people with the hearts of stone and stones with the heart of a people. It's an apt description of the iconic stones of Jerusalem that have borne witness to history and to the trials, tribulations, and triumphs of life itself. The stones of Jerusalem indeed represent the heart of the Jewish nation, and we could not be more proud that some of those stones now adorn the embassy of the United States. Thank you, President Trump, for keeping this sacred promise to an ancient people.